Yeah, bro. Do you even lift, bro? What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, the L13 Superman. Lucky 13 Superman is the game tag. Um, I'm here just to talk about something I've seen. Uh, I was just watching the PAX East panel, Halo 4 interview, past, uh, present, and future. And I, you know, and there's a lot of community questions, good questions, and I just want to talk about it real quick. And maybe you guys want to agree with me. Maybe you don't. Maybe I bring up some valid points. Maybe I don't. Um, they asked they asked about uh, map remakes like Blood Goats, which everybody knows. Blood Goats is one is a favorite. Um, I personally never played Halo Two. Well, I mean, I've played it. I I didn't. I I never grew up on Halo Two. Like. My first Halo was Halo 3, so I never experienced Blood Goats until I mastered Halo 3, got a 50, and went to go play uh, Halo Halo uh, Halo 2, and got a 50 on that right before you know they took it offline and everything. But that's whatever. Blood Goats is an awesome map. I love it. Um, that's not one of my main concerns as a remake. The Guardian or the Pit could be a good remake. Um, bring that back. My main concern, what I really want to talk about, they talk, they, they talked about the one to fifty rank. Um, you can you can actually get a fifty, and instead of making a new account, you can uh, reset it and go again. And some guy asked, "What you know? Is it gonna be like Call of Duty? Do you get a um, like a emblem, or is it like a prestige mode? Like if you get a fifty and you go back, do you get anything?" Something like some something similar to Call of Duty, they basically went around to answer. You know, they ain't answer yes, they ain't answer no. Um, but what I got from it was a no. They just it's just for shits and giggles, basically. You know, you can reset your fifty if you want, and that's it. It's just for shits and giggles. Um, what I think they should do, because in Halo, you know, you have your five star general, like you have your fifty, but you still work towards your XP, get a five star general. And obviously, one to thirty rank is already locked in. I'm not asking for more, you know, number ranks. That's stupid. Just going up to two hundred or something. That's just dumb. It's never gonna end. They should do like how they have a one one to fifty or one to fifty rank. And if you do reset and you go back, they should have a times right right next to it. So if you let's say you 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 reset it three times and got your fifty, it should say fifty and a little right next to it and right next to the fifty. A little times two or times three or times four for how many times you reset your rank and kept going back for 50s that would be cool imagine somebody doing it like you see a 50 and a playlist and he has it like times 75 like dude you went for 50 75 times <laughs> it's crazy that that will really separate the generals the 50s sorry you know generals that's halo 3 talk that would really sell uh, uh separate the 50s from other 50s like somebody can have a fifty and never went for it, but this one is like somebody else who has seventy five fifties and one person only got like two fifties. Come on, who who would you put your money on? They should have that. That way, it will show. It will be cool. Um, another thing they didn't talk about that I want to talk about. They should have had, cause honestly, everybody knows this. All Halos, you work hard towards your rank. You work hard on locking armor. They should take something from previous Halos and put it in the next game. Let's go from Halo Reach to Halo 4. You work hard. You know how long it took to get an Inheritor? They should at least let the helmet crossover, at least the Inheritor helmet crossover, or even Inclement Weather crossover. So the only way you could get it if you was an Inheritor and, you know, you play Halo, obviously your waypoint will load out and it'll come as a lock, unlockable or something, you know? It's a, it's a way to cross over, just like old, old DS3. I mean, uh, Halo 3 ODST crossed over for Recon. They should have did that for Halo 4 from Reach, at least. Or even a Halo 3 rank crossover. And what I mean by the rank crossover is, yes, you were SR-130, and you should just have, like, a 50 by your name. Not even a 50 saying uh, you're a 50. I'm saying, like, like something like an emblem. Even an emblem, like a 5-0 as an emblem. Oh, that would be sick. Just people be like, oh, you had a 50 in the previous Halo? Yes. And the only way you could get that is by having a 50. And I know some of you kids, you know, don't play as hardcore as me or, you know, go for 50s and things like that. So you don't really care about that. But this is some people do. This is what built Halo. If you're a new Halo player, go buy Halo 3 and go buy Halo 2. Even Halo 1 PC, go buy them. That's the Halo Origins. That's the way it was ever, that's the way it's made. 
Halo 1 to 50 rank straight up. And Halo Reach transitioned over to season to seasons, which is really good too. They went from Onyx, they went from uh, bronze, silver, gold to Onyx. Those actually were good too, so I like that, you know. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, what should they do? Cause they they spoke about a lot of a lot of things, you know. Forge map, Forge Island. They actually have a flat map, something like you know, something just for you to forge. There's nothing in the map except for just big plates. Forge Island, which is awesome. It's three little islands, but it's a huge map. I think they said it was three times or four times bigger than Valhalla. Let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, commentary. Um, leave a comment in the bottom. Come subscribe to my channel. Um, more commentary. Sorry for the three last three videos I didn't put up. I actually lost my voice. I'm drinking tea right now. A little sick. Uh, you know, running around doing crazy stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. You know, beasted. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments. You know, I, I will always love to see the comments from the community. I would love to see what you guys think. Leave a comment. I'll respond back. We could talk. We could have, you know, we could hash it out. If you don't agree with what I'm talking about, you leave a comment too. You know, just this is it's, this is all, you know, off the top. This is all from what I got from PAX uh, East Panel. This is all what I got from them, and I'm just hashing it out on what they should do, what I think they should do, and you know, hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Whoa, that's right, guys. Leave it to Zach. Peace.